Good day everybody and uh, welcome back for another video. In the, today's video <laughs> we are playing with the Frankenstein Pixie. Um, I'm gonna try to be very very short. Um, there were two things that I didn't like about the Pixie. First one is the AM broadcast band interferences because I, I used to hear more AM broadcast stations than actual CW signals, especially in the evening after 4 p.m. until 9, 10 p.m. in the evening and the fact that it didn't have the sight on. Um, the problem with the AM broadcast band interference is I managed to, to um, fix it by uh, modifying the Pi filter on the output, transforming it in uh, some sort of uh, bandpass filter and um, that helped me to, to get rid of all the AM broadcast band interferences. I have no more issues on that. I'm using the similar thing on the Pixie, uh, uh, sorry, on the PTT transceiver. I'm using the same thing on the uh, Sputnik uh, receiver, and it works fantastic. Even though it's very simple. Now on the Cyton, um, I uh, tried this little circuit, and uh, I couldn't figure it out. I, it didn't work, but at some point I I got to to get it to work really nice and it sounds fantastic as well and I wanted this one just because I tried uh, placing a buzzer the pixie that I have is the one with without a, any buzzer so I made a modification adding a buzzer and it was so annoying because it was always too loud and if I just wanted to hear the sight on in my headphones it didn't work because you know I would bother everybody else around me so I built this little circuit and I'm very happy about the way it sounds I just made a few modifications but uh, now it works uh, what else the little trimmer uh, resistor in here that will help you um, uh, adjust the um, frequency offset on receive I managed to replace that one with a proper potentiometer just so I can um, adjust the frequency offset on the go and also I uh, made the modifications um, that uh, Peter Parker recommended uh, VK3YE and uh, I added a variable capacitor that will allow me to change the frequency a little bit but anyway long talk is not good so I'm just gonna put the schematic on the screen so you see the modifications that I've made and it's easy for you to make any eventual modifications if you also want to to do that um, I will keep the original parts uh, in black and all the modifications in red so it will be easy to understand and um, I'll try to keep the parts um, as they are oh one more thing on the output I, I showed this one in the older video of the pixie I'm, I'm going to delete those videos because they are old and um, not really up to date anymore but on the output I placed uh, an inductor that would help me cut a little bit of the high frequencies and uh, it's more the sound is more pleasant to my ears right now so anyway this is it time to test it let's see what the power output is and uh, how the cytone uh, works and then we're gonna um, wait for the evening and see if we get any propagation to <laughs> listen to some QSOs unfortunately I still didn't get to learn the Morse code to do any QSOs on it but I will pretty soon Oh, one more thing for the PA transistor. I'm using a 2N2222A, but it's the plastic case version. So I found this uh, metallic thingy for all transistors like EFT 323 uh, in the good old times. So I borrowed this one and I placed the transistor inside, and then uh, I can put it back in place. And this way um, it's easy to, to replace the transistors in case they are burning and also it uh, with this um, metallic thing on top it will uh, not heat up so badly as it used to, to heat up uh, before. Anyway, let's do some tests. So let's test the power really quick. With about 10.5 uh, volts, I'm getting about 400, 450 milliwatts. With a 
12.5 volts I'm getting around uh, 500 uh, 550 600 milliwatts uh, that's the best that I could get so far <clears throat> but if I'm replacing the transistor with something that has a little bit uh, higher amplification factor usually the power goes up to 700 750 milliwatts but I don't have any more of those Anyway, with 500 milliwatts, I'm more than happy. Now, uh, let's uh, listen to it into the true SDX and uh, see the frequency range that I can get with uh, 7030 MHz crystal and also, um, I think it's 220 uh, picofarads capacitor, variable capacitor. So right now, I'm uh, on the true SDX and I'm on 703050 and uh, this is the Pixie now I'm going to move the variable capacitor all the way in the other side and try to move the frequency and see how far we can get So now I'm on 703520. Maybe you can even hear it on uh, 703530. All right, very nice. So I have a little frequency agility, not bad at all. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. It, it works really nice. Okay, now it's time to, to listen to it uh, later on in the evening and uh, see how it sounds on uh, receive. All right, so <laughs> I'm uh, pretty happy on uh, how it works. The propagation seems to be all right this evening. Um, yeah, so we have the frequency offset and receive. and the variable capacitor to change the frequency a little bit on transmit Sounds nice. And I hope I don't reach that far to bother them with uh, this, but uh, the side tone sounds really nice as well. I like it. <laughs> The only thing that I have to, to change will be my uh, coaxial cable because this one is horrible and uh, because of it um, I uh, have uh, this uh, 50 Hz hum all the time. It's picking it up from the electrical wiring that's going from uh, the main um, board, the main panel of uh, electricity panel uh, through the walls um, in the other side of the house and uh, yeah <laughs> if i uh, turn off the breaker uh, that uh, <laughs> sends the electricity over there uh, the hum will uh, um, stop but of course i need the electricity in the other side of the house uh, <laughs> as well so um, it's not like i can, I can uh, turn it off uh, all the time so i'm gonna have to replace it with a much better coaxial cable and i also want to uh, finally make a change and uh, uh, get rid of all the BNC connectors and uh, actually use the PL types because uh, 
I had enough of these BNC connectors. They're nice, uh, very nice. Doesn't matter how how uh, um, good quality they are. Um, they are nice if you plug them in and you don't uh, remove them after that. But if you keep uh, plugging them in and remove them all the time, at some point uh, the connection is not uh, as it should be. And uh, look what's happening if I move it. I get uh, this kind of sounds all the time and sometimes the connection is not okay uh, if I connect the, the cable to the transceiver and of course I get bad SWR <laughs> and uh, I keep wondering if my antenna is wrong but actually the connection of the of the connector it's, uh, it's not okay anyway uh, yeah it's fun I like it <laughs> who knows maybe I get ideas and uh, if you're building your uh, pixie transceiver you might make some modifications i try to keep it somehow um, as simple as it was originally i mean i don't want to go over the edge with modifications i just want to do something simple i had fun uh, playing around with it and uh, see how much i can get out of it so anyway um, i hope you like it and uh, thank you for watching I guess I'll see you in the next video, until then, 73.